so I wanted to say, sorry about the quality of my mic in the last episode. I didn't realize my mic unplugged before I recorded, so it was very loud and annoying. I just wanted to say sorry about that. <laughs> um, so today I've come here to express my opinion on Bumblebee, and I didn't write a script or anything because I wanted this to be as genuine as possible and from deep down in my heart because I know a lot of people are sensitive with this topic, so I wanted it to be true. No scripts, no nothing. Just 100% me. So, if I stop and think for a minute, that's why. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's get down to it, then. So, with Bumblebee. It's a great ship, but a bad one at the same time. And I'll talk about my opinions throughout the volumes. And it has to do with my favorite character as well. So I'm a little biased when it came to that. But don't get me wrong, just listen to my entire video, and you'll understand my situation. Don't immediately hear my first words and say, oh, yep, okay, bye. I made this video for a reason. So, let's talk about where I was with Ruby in general. I came into the Ruby community around... Volume 5 was coming to a close. The last episode came out two weeks ago, and that's when I joined. I finished watching it, and I joined uh, Ruby Amino. <clears throat> I was part of the people that waited for Volume 6. I wouldn't really say I waited a long time, now that I think about it, because I don't know when the last episode was, but I know I came in around October. If not September, no, wait, not September, <laughs> my bad, no. <laughs> September? Maybe? Wait, now that I think of it, September, October, maybe it was September. Either the ending of September or the beginning of October is when I came in. So I only had a month to wait for volume six to come in. <clears throat> and start. So, that's where I was. And let's go to Volume 1, when I started binge-watching it. Volume 1. I didn't really see Bumblebee as a thing because of how much they didn't talk. I liked the scene of Yang helping Blake come to the dance. I don't know if that was Volume 1 or Volume 2. It's been such a long time. I need to rewatch it. Okay, anyways. So, uh, I did like that scene. But the problem was, is I have always hated Yang. I mean, the beginning, I really liked her. Until Volume 3. When volume 3 came around, I kind of didn't like her. Because I saw how she acted more. I'm not a fan of hotheads and stuff like that. I'm not a fan of brawlers either. Hand-to-hand -hand combat is not for me. Well, it can look cool, I just don't see a, it being pleasant or the satisfaction of it. So leave that in mind that I don't like Yang and I've always never liked Blake until like I'd say volume four, to be honest. Then I kind of liked her. <clears throat> Getting off topic. And at that time, they showed another character called Adam. I'm going to add Adam to this because he's part of the situation with both of them. He's a really big deal with both of them and has caused a lot of problems. I didn't like Adam volumes one and two because there wasn't enough screen time of him so I just thought 
eh, he's probably not that important. So I just put him on a hate list like everyone else that I did that I didn't find important and just moved on my merry way. When I first saw Sun, I always loved him. Sun was just a bean. He was so adorable and when he winked at Blake, I fell in love with that ship. I adored Black Sun. It was very cute and volumes one through five Black Sun was just phenomenal. Their build-up was great, and everything was really great, but not more so Volume 4 and 5. That kind of ruined it a bit. And a lot of people can... <sighs> Excuse me. A lot of people can argue saying this, that, and the other thing, or whatever. This is my opinion, and... My opinion is has to do with also the last video where I said people who have been abused become abusive if not shown the right light. It's what happened to Adam. Adam was obviously abused as a child and traumatized. And that's not an excuse of the things he did, but it's a fact that you have to take into it's a fact you have to take into consideration with his character. Especially if you hate him. Don't hate him just because he's been abused. You have to hate him because of the actions he's done. Not just because, oh, he abused your favorite character. Now, so I can't really talk about that because the whole reason why I started liking Adam was because he cut off Yang's arm. And I hated Yang. So you can see where kind of bias comes in on that part. Like, I loved him stabbing Blake and cutting off her arm. It showed such an amazing power level that he was very strong and I absolutely adored it. It showed him as this cool, badass character that doesn't care about anyone except Faunus. And it was great. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, just a little side note. I'm going to make an Adam um, video just talking about him and stuff and how I like him. This is more so not going to talk about that. It's just to talk about... Why do I keep yawning so much? Ah! It's more so just to talk about Bumblebee, in my opinion. But he does have somewhat of a play into it, especially the endings. Now, also be warned, this is going to contain spoilers, especially for Volume 6. So if you haven't watched Volume 6, you should watch it before watching this video. But, I mean, it's been a while. Who hasn't watched Volume 6? But I might as well just say it, just in case. You never know. Anyways, Volume 3 rolls around. I adored Volume 3. I feel like it's one of the best things because it did a lot of things really well. Oh, there goes my face again. <laughs> Oops. It did a lot of things very well, especially when it was just M and K. Like, that was one of the best things that M and K almost wrote entirely. Volumes 1 and 2 are my next favorite because Monty. Monty was a great person and I loved his work. He was a great writer and animator. Well, yeah, he made a lot of mistakes and stuff. He still was pretty good at the things he's done. I need to take a drink of water. <laughs> okay. Okay. I've been rambling a lot. I've, I've, I'm recording all of these videos at once, so it's pretty tiring. But I wanted to get content out for you guys. Because you're my family. <laughs> Anyways, back to the topic at hand. Volume 3. I did like Bumblebee at the time. 
especially after their whole little conversation, that's when I kind of started like Bumblebee. And Volume 3, when I saw Yang try to protect Blake, and then Blake protect Yang, I'm like, that's really cute. I like that. It shows that they are there to protect each other, and they're there to support each other. So... I get why people started liking it. Because that was cute. It costed her her arm, but... I mean, hey, ever heard of the term, whoever loves someone so much you give an arm for? Well, this wasn't the expression. You literally gave an arm for her. I said he. My bad. I meant she. Sorry, I'm, I'm a bit tired. Right, then volume four came around. Um, I don't really remember much of volume four. Especially since it didn't have Bumblebee a lot. It was more so to strengthen Black Sun. And I'm going to talk about Black Sun too. Because I've loved the ship since Volume 1. It was beautiful. Their little interactions with each other were adorable. And it was great. Um, but... Him is <coughs> kind of... Oh, there goes my face again. Um, Nani? There we go. <laughs> so, him stalking Blake wasn't the best idea, but I understand his situation. This was a girl he really cared for. No one knows why. He all of a sudden cared for her. He didn't really know her. But he did. And that's fine. He wanted to be there for her. And that's not a problem. He should have said that he was there. But I understand why he didn't. He probably just wanted to stay in the background and watch from afar. Because he didn't want to cause her any trouble. I'm not saying his actions were great. But I understand them. At the least. Because of that, Blake got mad. And that's totally fine. <sighs> Getting mad with someone, especially that stalked you, kind of. It wasn't more so stalking, just more watching over her. And, oh my god, my face, please, stop. You know what? <sighs> Whatever. <clears throat> um, when it comes to that, I understand both viewpoints a lot. I'm not very a picky person. I'm a multi-shipper. I do a lot of things. I understand both situations. I don't hold grudges. So when I talk, it's usually either facts or personal opinions of both sides. I'm not going to just stick with one side. That's why when I talk about Bumblebee, I add Black Sun in here too, because I love both to death. I'm not gonna lie, I liked Black Sun more than Bumblebee because of how much ship buildup they had. They had seasons together. Bumblebee was very absent in Volume 1 through 3, and then were completely gone in Volume 4 and 5. Black Sun was somewhat absent also in Volumes 1 through 3, but completely there in 4 and 5. <clears throat> now, I don't have a problem with either of them being canon. As long as they're all happy, I don't care. As long as it's cute, whatever. Who cares? Gay or not, it's a ship, they're happy, so be it. So... Volume 4 and 5, I more so was stuck with Black Sun becoming canon because of all of the interactions they had, but then came the slaps. Well, yeah, you can slap your friends and stuff like that, but to me, I'm, I protect 
son with my life. Because he's just a bean, and he just wants what's best for people, and it's adorable. So when I saw that, it really gently made me hate Blake. I really disliked her character since then. I understand why she did, but slapping him that many times, and not just once, but tw twice, not, not how many times he slapped, but two scenes of getting slapped, one on the docks, and then one in her house, it upset me. And if they were to get together and become canon and she does this, that's abuse. That would be physical abuse and it wouldn't be okay because no one wants to deem Blake as an abuser. I mean, it's not uncommon for people who have been abused to be abused. And I'm not saying Adam abused her because we don't know who abused her. For all we know, it could have been a mysterious person. Yeah, a lot of things are pointing towards Adam with his manipulation, but I wouldn't really deem that abuse. I see a lot of people make huge assumptions with Adam's character just so people can hate him more. Like, he raped Blake because I guess M and K said Adam did something that he, they couldn't even talk about. But, like, there's different ways of saying rape. Sexual interactions is a great concept. Well, not a great concept, but a great choice of wording if you were to talk about a sensitive topic. Inappropriate behavior is even dumber. Uh, number, not dumber. My bad. Is even number. There's a lot of ways you could have said it if he was to be that. And a lot of people call him a pedophile, but no one really knows his age. He's been deemed around 20 to 23. And that's at the time Blake is 18, so that's just a 2 to 4 or 5 difference. It's not that extreme, especially when they're both younger. Take in mind, either Adam was a minor also, or he was just turning an adult. So it's not as bad as it seems, especially the people that hate Adam. And yeah, I'm talking about this because of the fact that it has to do with Blake and then the relationship towards the other characters that she can come up with. That's the only reason why I'm talking about this sensitive topic right now. So, like I said, coming up with different reasons on why to hate him, understandable, but there's no real proof. Yeah, he manipulated her, but it was more so to keep her near him and not abandon a cause that he wanted to happen especially in the early volumes. After volume four or five, I don't remember which one, he just abandoned his cause for some reason and did a whole 180, but that's a different topic. And, um, we don't know if he abused Blake. So we don't know where all this is coming from. She said he was spite, but I don't think it would just be spite. I think it would more be vengeance, revengeful, revenge, something along the lines of that. He was hurt, yada yada. I'm getting off topic. I'm sorry. I was rambling, and then it continued on. Anyways, so when it comes to Blake, we don't know if she will become abusive or not in a relationship. And the slaps really sealed the deal for me of she would be in the near future. 
I'm not saying she is now, and I'm not saying the slaps were meant to purposely harm, even though they kind of were. It's more so of a fact that it happened, and I actually shipped them together like I saw them as a relationship, even though that they're not canon. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I deem Blake as a borderline abuser. Now, on to Volume 5. I liked them coming back together. I didn't like the fact that... <sighs> Yang... forgave Blake super easily. It was kind of dumb. She should have been mad. They did do that in Volume 6, like a small bit, but it wasn't enough. Having someone leave after they caused a body part to be removed, and you get traumatized. She got- she was supposed to have PTSD because of it. You shouldn't forgive the person that easily without talking. That's what I hope to see in Volume 7, is them talk. It would help their- <sighs> It would help their relationship a lot if they would just talk. I know it's not meant to have a lot of talk. It's more so it should be a show and don't tell kind of situation. But that comes to a situation just like Volume 4 and 5 when Sun and Blake talked. It was talking, but it was much needed talk. That was another reason why I thought they were going to be canon, to be honest, is because they actually sat down and talked. Sun saying that he would protect her. It was a beautiful scene, and it made me really happy. That's what's needed for Bumblebee. And when Volume 6 came around, I'm just going to say it, I hated Bumblebee. I just hated it. I didn't like their interactions because it almost seemed very jumpy. It came from little interactions here and there to just focusing on them. And I didn't like that. As a person that really liked Bumblebee back then, seeing this really didn't help. I didn't like that they had to get away Sun, that Sun had to leave. Sun was one of my favorite characters. He was my second favorite. So seeing him go hurt me really badly. And then having... I don't know why I keep yawning so much. So then having a different ship immediately after with Blake upset me and I started hating Bumblebee because of that reason also and then the thing that everyone hated well not hated more so wish didn't happen but at the same time did and that's bees versus Adam if you don't know just by my picture Adam is my favorite character. He has been since Volume 3. And seeing this ship that was becoming well-known kill my favorite character upset me a lot. It genuinely made me hate it so much. It got even worse because of the fact that I was an Adam account on Amino, and I have been for a while. When Adam died, <sighs> when Adam died, I got spammed with Bumblebee and his death by Bumblebee shippers. A lot of the toxic people in that community spammed me with death threats of saying I should commit suicide or I should die off a cliff like he did, 
called me homophobic and stuff like that. All because I was an Adam account. All because I liked a person that a lot of people didn't like. I got attacked for it. And it was bad. Adam's death was the only death that made me cry. And then getting spammed with his death only jugged my system deeper down. I was depressed for months. I'm still really depressed about his death, but I've gotten better with that. Um, it's a hard topic for me because I've always related with Adam a small bit. So seeing him die affected me personally, and I'll talk about that when I talk about Adam in my next video. But that's the reason why I hated Bumblebee. Because of toxic shippers and his death. It was a mess, and seeing them force, not so force the entire ship, but just force that scene of Bumblebee upset me, because it was bad. They held hands, yeah, that's really cute, but at the same time, it sucks, because they're like, look at that, I found a person, I'm gay for them, I don't love you. Adam, and it's like, oh, jeez, that's not the point of this at all. <laughs> so, <sighs> that's why I started hating Bumblebee, and I've, uh, I started standing for Adam at one point because of it, and I regret standing for him, but at the same time I don't, because he's always been my favorite character. But I got called out because people thought that I started standing for him because he died, like a lot of people started doing, but I've been a fan since Volume 3. Um, he's just been a really cool character design and I loved his fighting style. It's just a preference. And then I started attacking people that liked Bumblebee, and I regret doing so. Because I attacked this one person, and I, I call her BB, and she probably knows who she is, especially if she's watching this video. She was one of the ones to help me. At first, when we first met, we were arguing, and I was being mean to her. We were being mean to each other. We were being extremely toxic towards each other. But I don't know how, because I don't remember how we managed to sit down and talk. I think one of us just said we needed to talk about something, and we did. We made a deal because I hated Bumblebee, and she hated Adam. We made a deal saying if I give Bumblebee another chance after that scene, she would give Adam another chance. Now for me, it was also very slow getting back into it. At first, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just going to say sure, but I'm not going to really. And I'm not going to lie about that. I was very so planning on not getting back into Bumblebee. But because I don't want to be that kind of person that makes a promise and doesn't keep it, I tried. I surrounded myself with people who liked Bumblebee but weren't toxic, thank god. I found a lot of them, but a lot of them aren't. And actually a lot of them also liked Adam, and I really liked that because those were the ones that helped me the most. I joined a few discords and stuff surrounded by people who were chill with all characters and liking Bumblebee. At first I was very neutral after a while. I'm like, I still don't really like it, but I don't hate it. 
and it was like that for a while, and I regret the things that I do, especially towards the other people that I've argued with, because I don't want to make enemies. It's not something that I ever wanted to do. So... Ah, sorry. I'm very tired. <laughs> so, when it came to that, I slowly started to like it again. It's not as big as I liked it when it first started, but I still like it. I'm hoping maybe Volume 7, they'll have the talk and it'll help me like it more. But as of right now, it's semi-like to neutral. And that's all I can do for right now, especially with the given things that I have. Not a lot of interaction 1 through 5, and then volume 6 interaction I really didn't like. So I was working with slim to nothing. And with her, I'm glad that she likes Adam now. I'm not sure how much she likes Adam, and I don't know if she's just saying I like Adam to make me happy, but I'm generally actually happy that she hopefully does like Adam again. Because, yeah, I understand why she hated him, but I'm glad she actually gave him another chance. And that's what I've been trying to do with a lot of people that hate a certain character. I've been trying to talk them into why they hate him, and hopefully change their minds to at least make them neutral instead of just hate. Because hate is a terrible thing, and you shouldn't hate a lot of things. And don't get me wrong, I'm being very... <sighs> I Contradicting, I think the word is? Because I hate a lot of the characters. I only like six characters in the entire show. So <laughs> I'm kind of being judgmental, but not at the same time. Because I more so want to make other people stop hating instead of me. Because I know how to hate something, but not attack people for it. Unlike some people. I'm not calling people out, but you know who you are. Yeah, I'm talking to you, George. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but, yeah, that's all that I have to say for right now about that. I like Bumblebee. I, li I love Adam. And I'm hopefully will like it in the future. But right now, I will always love Black Sun. It's adorable. <laughs> Though, my favorite, my favorite ship is Sunny Bull. Uh, fight me. <laughs> if you don't know who Sunny Bull is. Um, it's a very interesting ship that I came up with. It's, um, it, it may be Adam and Son, my, my two baby boys, um, in a relationship. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm not homophobic. Huzzah! You know, that good shit. But, anyways, thanks for watching this very long rant. It's all came from my mind and my heart, because I wanted it to be as genuine as possible. I hate people who read scripts, especially when they say, oh, I got this from a script, because I just feel like it's, oh, I should say this and then just write it down and who cares if it's true or not. And I don't like that. It's just things that I saw in my mind. And I said it. So, I should wrap this up. So, that being said, thank you all so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!